Hello everyone and welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions Hydrology Education videos. Today we're going to be going over the time of concentration calculator included in TR55. But before that, you're going to want to subscribe to the channel and download our ultimate hydrology guide, which gives you an overview of the many kinds of hydrology, single event, continuous hydrograph methods, so you can learn more about those. So that's in the description box and it's 100% free. You can also check out the other videos of our TR55 series in a playlist on our channel. Anyways, let's get into this video today. So we're going to be going over this time of concentration calculator, but we're going to need to set up our project real quick here. I'm going to put P project for practice project, the sub area name. I'm going to put urban. Let's just go project, project, practice. Okay, and we have it in Ohio, Cuyahoga County. That's all fine. Type one. Now we want to set up our time of concentration. I'm actually going to go to the help file that's included for TR55 and see what it has to say. So the time of concentration details window, window 14 allows entry, editing and or viewing of sub area flow path segment data and the resulting segment travel times and time of concentrations for sub areas in the watersheds that have detailed time of concentration data. The computed sub area time of concentration is displayed in the TC column of the sub area entry and summary portion on the Windows TR55 main window. The sub area time of concentration can also be entered directly on the Windows TR55 main window. Data computed from the time of concentration details window will override any prior time of concentration entries on the window. And blue boxes on the time of concentration details window contain computed data, while white box contained user entered data. So that's an overview of that window. Um, and so it gives a quick overview of some of the different aspects of that. So up to five flow segments may be entered, one for sheet, two for shallow concentrated, and two for channel flow. For sheet and shallow concentrated flow, enter the length, slope, and surface type. For channel flow, either enter length, slope, Manning's end, flow area, and wetted perimeter, or enter length and velocity directly. The equations used for computing each segment's travel time are in the appendix, you can view those there. So we're gonna try and set that up here with our project. So we're going to go to time of concentration for the sub area name. Well, actually, let's get a quick land use in here. It doesn't really matter. Two acres, A, except time of concentration. So we've got the five types here. Let's say our sheet flow, let's just give it a length of 40, shallow concentrated. Uh, let's do 50 feet of length for those. We can give them slopes now. Let's say 3% and 2%. And then what about Manning's end? Now you can enter in a custom Manning's end here for the channel flow. So let's do 80 and 80. I'm just gonna show you all the options. That's kinda, kinda the point here. 3%, 5% to show you what you can do with this. But it lets you select Manning's end from a drop-down box given these different characteristics here. So let's say that for the sheet flow, uh, it's some light woods, that's 0.4 Manning's end. Let's say for the shallow concentrate, it's paved, and let's say this one is unpaved. So you can select those three there. And then if you'd like for channel, you can enter in your own Manning's end here. I'm gonna put 0.012. I believe that's for maybe concrete or PVC pipe. The area of the channel, let's just say 50 feet. The wetted perimeter, let's just say 40 feet for our purposes. And then it gives you velocity there, and then it can give you time in hours of the time of concentration. So total, it adds it all up to 0.183 hours. So that's about a, a, maybe a fifth of an hour, right? So uh, maybe somewhere like 12-ish minutes, I think would be somewhere in that range, a little less than, so about 11 minutes would be the time of concentration for our project site. Click accept, and you now can see your time of concentration in hours is now in your project site. You can also install reaches for your project and run the scenario. So that's how to set up the time of concentration. Pretty straightforward. It's using the two year rainfall. You just need to make sure you have all your factors in line for these different categories in order to get that correct time of concentration uh, in hours. So if you have any questions about that, leave it in a comment down below. And anyways, we'll see you guys in the next video.